If it's felt like something for the longest time has held you back from your true purpose and you're wondering how to do the inner work, the inner healing, perhaps you're looking for a specific technique or a specific methodology or just instructions on how to clear out the inner blockages so you can be clear on your path and your purpose, this video is for you. I'm going to be taking you through a step-by-step proven process that I've used with hundreds and hundreds of my coaching clients to get them specific clarity on their heart's desire and their heart's purpose. All coming up in this video. I hope it changes your life. Let's get right into it. All right, welcome or welcome back. My name is Brandon Tobias. It's amazing to have every single one of you here. Uh, My specialty is healing your inner child, your heart and your soul so that you can find clarity, purpose and direction in your life and go out and change the world. So let's get right into it and talk about what we're going to be doing today. Um, For some of you, right, and generally speaking in the body, the purpose is going to lie in two areas. Number one, it's going to lie in the solar plexus or the area just beneath the heart. This is the area that's connected to Leo. It's connected to the sun. It's connected to your egoic purpose or the purpose that you came here to shine or to be in the world. So that's a very important part we're going to bring out today and we're going to learn to express even more. The second part is the lower belly, the sacral, or just below the belly button, okay? It's this area between your pelvis or pelvic area and your belly button. That's what I'm referring to as the sacral area. And uh, the reason why this is important is because it's it's where the plutonic or the seat of your soul lies. Plutonic energy or seat of your soul lies, meaning this is where the deep down juicy desire of why you really came here in life, what you're really doing here in life lies for you, okay? So we want to figure out and and combine these two areas in your life, the egoic purpose with the solar plexus as well as the deep down juicy reason why you're here, what gives you that flair, right? And the whole goal of this, by the end of this video, you should feel a little more clear or massively more clear depending on your experience of what gives you the excitement that you're looking for in life, what that is specifically for you, and everyone's different, but it's going to be a personal process for you here, and then also what you're, how you're meant to do that in a vocation, okay? How you're meant to do that in a vocation. So we're going to go through, the steps are going to be down in the sacral first, and then we're going to go up to the solar plexus so you can see how you're meant to express that, okay? Now, the first thing we have to do is we have to, and I recommend taking one hand, preferentially your right hand, okay, um, to go down to the, the sacral area and just kind of rest it in between your belly button and your pelvis area here, okay? And um, I want you to open up in this moment as well, and uh, forgive Alden in the background, he's joining us in our, our healing today. Um, I want you to open up that area for just a second, open up your hand, open up that area, uh, open up to allow the energy to flow. You may feel things flowing in, yeah, and you may feel things flowing out. See, part of this is your purpose, your movement forward, where your soul wants to go is connected to your right arm, it's connected to your right hand. So you can instill some of this, right, or give some of that energy into the sacral area, which is going to help give this whole process a boost. So just allow things to either be received or to be given to and from your sacral and your right hand, okay? Allow an exchange there to happen. And I want you to bring your awareness down in this particular moment. I want you to really really allow your focus to be on this area. And you're going to go deep, 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 deep in. You might feel a lot of emotions here. One thing that can help is slightly engaging the lower stomach muscles, right? The lower belly muscles. And just see what, what, if anything, is attached there. Meaning, do you feel detached, right? Do you feel fully detached or do you feel attached to the lower half of your body? For many of us, we have a detachment there, meaning we're disconnected from the lower half of your body. This may be you if you're watching, um, which is natural because this also, in, in, in addition to the juiciness and the desires of life, it, it represents the, the hellish part, the darkness, right? The, the dark side of humanity, right? Plutonic energy. So there's two sides to the coin here. So I want you to continue going down, di- diving deeper, deeper, deeper. And I want you to ask yourself this question. What would make it worthy, worthwhile for me 
to exist in this human reality? Okay, what would make it worthwhile for me in this moment in time to exist in this human reality? What comes up for you? And I want you to open after you ask that question. And you guys can ask this out loud, by the way, is the recommendation. Um, what would make it worthwhile for me to live my life in this moment, in this human reality? Is that sex? Is that love? Is that ecstatic experiences? Is it travel? Is it, you know, making love, right? It's like, what would allow you to have that drive, to have that passion to really allow you to be propelled forward. Okay, that's the first key. Now, one thing you should be aware of as you go through this process is a very deep transformative process, by the way. And you're probably going to have a lot. I, I've done this work a lot, so it's not so much for me. But you might have a lot of dark fears, feelings, emotion. If you have untapped trauma down there, that's all going to be coming up. And I want you to allow yourself to take a safe space in this moment and just allow yourself to totally feel all of those feelings. What would happen, right? Really, it's going to be the consequences of what would happen as I'm speaking to you, right? Feel into these feelings if you were to allow those desires in. What would the consequences be if you were just allowed to make love or travel or really live, right, all of those deep, dark desires that you have. What are you so scared of would happen, right? Are you, are you fearful you might lose yourself within them? Are you fearful of the consequences of what would happen if you were to engage in those activities? Are you scared of death if you were to engage in those activities? Everyone's going to have a different answer here. But the whole point is to engage in a conversation with your body in this, air, in this area, in this way, to ideally have a transformative experience. So I want you to sit with that and you feel free to pause the video if you need to and, and just sit with yourself for a, for a little bit and really feel those deep, dark desires. And I want you to practice just receiving them, not resisting them, not pushing them away, not closing off to them, right? Many of us, that's an unconscious thing that we do is we kind of close ourselves off to those desires because we have think they're bad, we think that they're evil, we think that we're bad if we feel those things. And for the first time, just I want you to accept all of yourself in this moment. Accept every part of your soul, every part of your desire, and see what you feel. See what happens to your body when you receive that part of you and see what comes through. And what you might be experiencing, okay, depending on your experiences, you might now feel an energy coming back into you that you didn't have before that fills you up or is allowed to then travel up to the higher centers. And here's what happens is we don't have to be scared of these desires anymore, okay, even if they're dark, even if they're animalistic, even if they're evil, right? Because that's where it all begins, right? Talk about serial killers, talk about people with addictions, talk about people with really kind of quote unquote negative or evil dispositions. It starts down there. And so we're, as a humanity, we're rightfully a little bit hesitant to go there. But the issue is that maybe those people or us in past lives, past versions of ourselves, didn't know how to bring that energy up and trust that it will be transmuted by the higher centers, because what happens is, as it moves up the body, as you allow this energy to move up the body, it all, it actually gets transmuted by the higher centers, right? Uh, starting with the heart. The heart is the, the 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 passing point where these lower centers start to get transmuted into light and love. So what will happen is, if you allow this process to happen, you are completely safe because your higher centers will do the work for you. And they will transmute those desires into their quote unquote light version, their light counterpart. Okay. So, for instance, let's just say, um, you know, you might trans be able to transmute a, a desire such as having sex or making love into uh, giving, right? Giving or receiving vital energy to yourself and or to the world 
with everything that you have, right? Because sex is an act of giving or receiving with everything that you have and both at the same time as well. It's an exchange of energy. So you might be able to transmute that into now I'm, I want to give and exchange as much energy for the world in a valuable way, right? As much as possible. This is just one example. But my point is that these are energies that will be transmuted naturally. And your job here from this video is to, number one, allow those in. That's the most important part if you're feeling stuck at this moment in time. And then to trust that the higher centers are going to do their work. They're going to transmute on your behalf. And then the answers will be made clear to you because it will represent themselves as a natural desire, right? Spoken from the higher centers, right? You might start to feel lighter. You might start to feel more clear. You might start to feel a naturally occurring desire to help or to express for others or with others or to go in a certain direction or to be in a certain light or way. And, um, and, and, you know, for some of us that might be feel a little foreign, right? We might, that might conflict with something we have in our life, whether that's a job or a relationship or a family member or whatever. And that's okay. Um, the point is to just allow that truth to be expressed and allow the higher centers to do their work and to transmute while also not rejecting anymore the true desires of the sacral, of the soul, okay? The only reason why sometimes we're blocked there, we're detached, is because from childhood we have learned to detach from that, right? <clears throat> Something that we did, excuse me, that was considered evil or bad, right, by our parents or an authority figure was then completely shut down by us at that time from an early age, and then thus, right, we learn to live like that. We learn to live with just the lighter centers, but it's also robbed us of our power. It's robbed us of our desire for life. It's robbed us of our some of our abilities as well if our purpose lies in part of it in the sacral here to express that area. So sit with that for a little bit. The longer you allow the fears, the negative emotions, the dark emotions to rise up from that particular area the more the higher centers will be uh, allowed to transmute them. And just by bringing your presence to those to those feelings as they come in, um, they will automatically transmute on your behalf, okay? So you don't have to worry about that. And just keep staying with it. My recommendation, keep staying with that until you feel a feeling of lightness and peace in the body. This is how you know you've successfully transmuted um, any of the fears, the emotions, the traumas that come from these lower centers, okay? All right. If you need an incantation as well, um, you don't have to, but I find that they're very helpful in certain circumstances. And just as a tool, generally speaking, remember we are in command of the light, in command of, of our soul, of the energy around us, in command of source energy. So we can use that to help release these things, right? So a helpful sample incantation would be, I choose to release here now the fear, the concern, the lack Okay, lack of empathy, lack, generally speaking, the disbelief, the doubt. Uh, I choose to release the resistance to my own primal nature in this particular moment that holds me back from accomplishing my greatness. Yeah, something along those lines. And I want you to, you can feel that in your body and really feel if that's right for you. And the words don't have to be exact, but um, I choose to release this, this, and this. Okay, I no longer wish to hold this could be guilt, shame, blame, all these things. Um, and I choose to receive uh, my truth, right? I choose to receive my truth and allow this truth to be transmuted by the higher centers in love and in light. So the key is once you receive these again, I, I choose to allow these energies to be transmuted by the higher centers in love and in light and to allow that clarity to come through. Okay, let's move on to the solar plexus now. Um, so the solar plexus, the color is naturally orange. We talked about the energy being Leo. Now, what we need to do to find your vocation is find how this energy hits or how it wants to be expressed uh, through the solar plexus, both from the sacral, which we just were releasing and exploring, also from the higher center. So what happens with the solar plexus is the energy comes up from the sacral, hits the solar plexus, as we said, and uh, gives it the raw zest, gives it the, it's like the energy source, it's like the raw kind of um, battery power, so to speak, or gasoline for the solar plexus, and the higher centers come down to give it direction, 
right? To give it unity, to give it direction, to give it clarity, to give it the substance that it's going to be expressing or what it wa- how it wants to express. So now I want you to imagine uh, to allow, as we did before, that sacral energy to run into the solar plexus and to see the color orange, to feel the color orange there, okay? And this time I also want you to allow energy from above, okay, source divine energy and also your soul's awareness, your soul's energy to run down to hit your solar plexus as well. So now you should have two energies combined. And I want you to start to create a big orange sphere or ball combining at your solar plexus, okay? Um, I also want you to imagine and feel the sun's energy, the the sun's radiation, okay, in a positive way in your solar plexus here. And I want you to just start to cultivate that for a second here until it's all you can feel, all you can focus on, all you can sense in your body at this moment in time is that solar plexus energy, okay? I also want you to see it spinning in a healthy way. And if some of you guys see orbs or colors around that orange ball, that's going to be really healthy as well. And so see it spinning in a particular direction. Mine's spinning backwards for some reason, so it's kind of rotating like this. Yours might be rotating in a different way, and that's okay. Also, if there's any other color or emotions that come to you, feel free to integrate those as well. These are just samples as to uh, general guidelines for you guys to go through this process. So feel that spinning. And now I want you to see that ball, and I want you to receive, yeah, receive that ball inside of you. Okay, receive that giant solar plexus radiating ball inside of your body in this particular moment. And I want you to see it then emanating that energy back up and back down in your body and allow this to reveal any area you might feel uncertain, weak, okay, not enough, unworthy, things like that, scared, all those types of things. This is going to reveal where the power is maybe disconnected, okay? And I want you to ask your solar plexus as well when you do this is, um, where is it that I feel disconnected from my power? Where is it that I feel, dis- what disconnects me from my power at this moment in time? And it might be something like, you know, I don't feel worthy to do what I'm really here to do, or I feel uh, disconnected from my truth, or, you know, I feel um, un- uncertain that this is where I'm meant to be. And I just want you to keep feeling that, keep feeling that, keep integrating that, And I want you to ask your solar plexus now, where and how, where and how am I meant to express this power? Okay. Um, What vehicle for me? Where do I see myself? Where do I feel myself? Where do I receive and give the most energy? Okay. And for me, I'm going through this process as well with you guys at the same time. I'm hearing uh, uh, videos. Okay. Videos are helpful. Um, Videos. So in videos, I can express and give and receive this energy. Okay, good. Uh, Videos, people. Okay, there's another one for me, just hearing. Okay. Um, One-on-one, people, videos, right? Speaking, expressing. Okay. Uh, Crowds, all right? Crowds for me. Uh, And not to, you know, give you all my personal stuff, but these are just examples of, for me, my sole purpose Right? As I receive this energy, these are the answers that are coming to me. So I want you to look out, keep receiving, keep receiving, keep receiving, and keep getting those answers. And, and one thing that's helpful is you can take a pen and paper and start to write down the answers you receive here. So you can ground down this exercise into reality. I'm going to do so right now. Okay. So for me, I heard videos. So videos is a way I can express my power. These are real life earthly things you can express your power in that comes from the sacral and comes from right the 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 divine clarity videos people one-on-one crowds okay healing really healing healing through speech all right and i i didn't go through this beforehand i promise you guys this is just you know i'm going through always going through the same process as you guys at the same you know at the same time but healing through speech right so that's a new one for me so Find what your phrase is, find what your clarity is, find what your feeling here is. And, um, but everyone's going to receive their answers in a different way. They're going to receive it either visually, they're going to receive it kinesthetically by feeling in their body, uh, by hearing it auditorily like I do, um, or by knowing it. I forget what the word for that one is, but just knowing it in your brain or having a knowingness. Um, So if you need to pause the video, feel into that process 
keep feeling, right, where and how that energy is fractured, could be fractured or disconnected from your truth, from your sacral, why you felt that this energy couldn't be released fully or it shouldn't be released fully, what it meant about you, okay, is a key one. What I'm getting here is, um, too, for some of you, for some of us, it, it could be we're healing past life versions of us that we're doing that thing, whatever it is you're meant to do, and then we were like killed or persecuted for it, right? Like kind of like witch hunt kind of stuff. And so we're we're healing that now um, and we're learning to let go again because we're tr we're learning to trust that it's safe to be who we really are, right? To express our true powers because maybe we've been in a lifetime and even in this lifetime where we have not felt safe, right, to be and express our true powers. And that's part of the reason why we've shut them down for good reason. So overall, if you're watching this, it is time, right, to, like Spirit's saying, it's time to come back into that way of being. It's time to come back into your authenticity, authentic power. Uh, it's time to work on feeling safe to be all that you are, to express what you really are, and to let that power be free again. Even if there's a lot of fears or concerns that come up, now is the time for us to continue to cultivate that, for you to continue to cultivate that, because that will lead you to where you're meant to be. And it, that may look completely dramatically different from what you're doing right now. That's one thing you got to know through this process is your body particularly if you've been in a situation where you weren't really being all of yourself or only part of it, or you were completely disconnected, this may look completely different and it may shock you a little bit and you may go, oh my gosh, like I'm really not, I'm not doing the right thing. Like my vocation's completely off. Don't worry about that. Um, everything serves a purpose. The best thing you can do now is just start to make steps towards what you really feel, right? With the answers you received, in your heart, in your solar plexus, right? In your sacral as well to guide you along your way. Um, because some of you are meant to be very powerful spiritual practitioners, right? Um, healers, psychics, uh, people with very uh, even crazier abilities than that. And so um, let this let this start to, uh, to reawaken that. And, and by the way, the, the crazier the ability is, most likely the more blockages and or density will be when you do this exercise because your power is just that incredible and special and unique and different to the point where it might scare people around you or did scare people around you and so you might be that scared as well of it so my invitation is if you want if this really resonated with you that just take this the first step in releasing that layer of fear in in allowing that true power and those true desires to unfold and it does start with your desires it does start with this sacral energy that's the baseline of this whole thing is you can't unleash this solar plexus until this energy source this battery source is fully unleashed as well because um otherwise it's just not going to you're not going to feel much right there's not going to be much energy running through but once that's unleashed okay you got to start with the scary part um <clears throat> you'll start to feel the ability to really synchronize and cultivate um, your your purpose, your vocation, and how you're meant to express. And the last thing I have for you guys, I don't want to make this video too long, although it's, you know, it's, this is like years worth of healing in 25 minute videos. So uh, go figure. Um, is the vocation you end up doing, that that will always be figured out along the way. What's most important is you just begin to express what's inside so for instance just using my example here since it's helpful right now you know they said my, my soul said videos right so expressing and receiving power through my videos in my solar plexus okay so what what platform so to speak doesn't matter so much as much as the fact that just releasing videos so whether it's youtube instagram or tiktok or and or what type of videos right so long as i am authentically releasing and expressing that power in those videos, right? Expressing this part of myself. And then through that action, through that expression, the way to 
make money from it or the way to survive through it will be revealed in time. The, the rest will be built through that initial action, but it's the action first of expressing what comes up and out that will lead you down that path of being able to build something to support yourself doing that, which of course is the goal for all of us, okay? Or if you want to, of course, obviously, okay? And then I know this channel was built too from like love and partnership and tarot and all those things. And uh, that's that's absolutely definitely connected to this as well. But um, you can't be in a successful long-term relationship unless you also are sure, certain, and expressing what's really inside of you as well, right? Your true power, your true purpose, because they'll always feel like there's a gap there. And so uh, this is a process that will help both within or outside of a romantic relationship if you're in one, but it can only help to um, bring you closer or bring you together with your person, okay? All right, I hope that's helpful for you guys. Thanks so much for sticking around. I know this is a new type of video, so I hope you liked it. Please be sure to like the video, subscribe if you want more healing content just like this, and uh, and uh, leave me a comment in the, in the comments below if you really enjoyed this, what your experiences was. If you have questions, let me know. I'll try to get back to as many as I can. And if you want a personal reading, a personal one-on-one -on -one session or one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, I do offer that now. You can check the link in my description box, brandontobias.com, if you want to learn more. And also check out some of the links below. There's lots of health supplements and the cool things you can get your hands on that are here to help improve your beingness and your well-being physically, mentally, and emotionally um, and in all areas of your life. So thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one, my friends. Bye for now.